What's going on everybody? It's Adrian from over here at Pipe Dream Hookah and today I've got the 13th episode in the Elfacher series. This one's going to be a tobacco review on the original line Elfacher, Lemon Mint. Probably already knew that if you took the time to look at the title of the video or even the thumbnail. I never do so I just thought I'd mention it. Now, as usual, we're going to be going over the basic things, which are the flavor, the cloud output, and the scent, as well as a few other things towards the end of the review before we give it a rating from 1 to 7. Now, first things first, let's crack it open and see how it smells. Okay, so I've done a review on the Zaya's Lemon Mint, and it's a very good lemon mint. Um, I said it was very natural. This one isn't quite as natural as Messiah's, but it's not a candied lemon either, like a lemon drop. This one has like, this is going to sound like a bad thing, but I promise it's not. Almost like a lemon pledge undertone, and I don't mean that in like a really nasty chemical way. I mean that in like a really kind of a bright, refreshing way that kind of rides over the part of the scent that is that natural zesty lemon. It actually smells very good to me, but when I first opened it probably like two years ago, I was like, wow, this is going to straight up kill me and I'm still here mostly and still smoking hookah tobacco. So that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the clouds. Before I do that, real quick, just want to give you my setup today. I've got the wide gauge harmony with three titanium flats on top of it and I'm using my Starbuzz Atlantis 1.0, the short version in blue with the matching bell base decos and a B2 tip for anyone who's wondering how I packed it. I've got a video for that for both funnel bowls like this and Egyptian bowls down in the description below. Let's blow clouds. Well, there you go. Is anyone surprised? You should not be. And if you are surprised, I recommend taking a look at my packing tutorial I have listed in the description below uh, for either the Egyptian or the Funnel Style Bowl because El Fokker does perform best at a very particular pack. This pack is what we all in the community like to call a normal pack, and we do it to the rim. You want a, just the slightest bit of contact with the foil to get clouds like this. This is something I've been asked about before because some people do struggle getting clouds out of El Fokker. I can tell you you're going to get great clouds out of El Fokker, great clouds out of El Fokker. I am. I've had a Red Bull. Words are rushing. But the clouds are going to be great provided you pack it correctly. Palettes cleanse. Let's go ahead and take a look at the flavor profile. As usual on this channel, even when we're doing these really shotgun style of Fokker series reviews, we're going to do it on the inhale and exhale because even though it's kind of minor information, it's very easy to provide and I feel like it gives you a better idea of the flavor profile. So we're going to start with the inhale. Okay, so the inhale. What I'm really getting is going to be, the, well the first thing is going to be the, the lemon. And it's going to be a sharp, zesty lemon with a little bit of this really refreshing aftertaste. And the best way I can describe it is like a mix between a lemon peel, the actual natural lemon inside of the lemon, and this, I don't want to call it a chemical, but it is a slight chemical, it's a good flavor, but it's almost like an, a sweetened, fresh, kind of a light note. It's really hard to describe. Imagine if you smell Lemon Pledge and it didn't taste like uh, some type of a toxic poison when you drink it. If it tasted like it smelled, that's what you're getting here. Very much in the background, most of it is gonna be that natural zesty lemon. This does not come across as a lemon drop on the inhale anyway. Let's go ahead and check out the exhale. Oh, before I do, I should probably talk about the mint. It's in there. There is mint in this flavor, but like most Elfacher flavors, I feel like they could put more mint in the mix. I really like mint in my fruit tobaccos especially, so I typically get some Elfacher mint and put like 25% Elfacher mint in with the uh, lemon and then you mix it all up, put it back in, and now it's even more of a minty lemon flavor. Exhale time. So as usual, on the exhale, the mint is gonna die down just a little bit. That's just something that happens with most shisha tobaccos. And then as far as the lemon flavor, a lot of that almost, I'm gonna say again, that lemon pledge flavor, it's almost completely gone. You're gonna get the natural lemon. It's gonna be much more zesty than it is gonna be sweet. This isn't exactly a sweet flavor, but there is some sweetness to the inhale. There isn't very much sweetness to the exhale. Now, before we rate it, let's talk about a few other things. Like Alfaker usually does, it takes heat just fine, provided you know how to heat the tobacco. On a bowl like this, the wide gauge harmony, I like to use fleet three flats. If you're going cubes, you can use three as well, but I kind of uh, teeter them on the edges of the bowl instead of putting them directly over with no overhang. 
and uh, it will hold the heat just fine. It won't burn. As far as how long it burns for with flavor, you're going to get about an hour, 25 minutes to an hour and a half. You could do a full two rounds of cubes if you wanted to, but at the hour and a half mark, it's going to die down and you're going to get very muted flavor. You're probably not going to enjoy the session very much. I would do two rounds of flats and probably it's gonna need to be retired before you finish those flats. Oh, and how long does this hold the flavor? Some of the flavors die out a little quickly, like at the 45 to an hour minute mark, the flavor profile starts to mute all the way until it hits the hour and a half mark where there's almost no flavor left at all. This one holds pretty strong. It pretty much stays as the very potent lemon mint flavor all the way up until you've burnt the last little bit, bit of that molasses. All the tobacco is pretty much blackened. The second that happens, the flavor drops from like a sweet, uh, we'll just call it full blast, I'm not going to say it's like the strongest flavor ever, but it is pretty strong. But it goes from its baseline and it just, boom, cliffs right down to pretty much zero. You get that ashy flavor. And since this is a heavily washed tobacco, you're not going to get any of those really nice tobacco notes. So again, I'd recommend stopping your smoke session at around an hour and a half. Now let's go ahead and rate the stuff on the seven scale. As far as the Elfocker Lemon Mint goes, I want to go ahead and give this a solid five out of seven. What's going to stop it from going below a five out of seven is the flavor profile is spot on. It smokes as well as any other Elfocker. And honestly, there aren't too many bad things to say. What's going to stop it from creeping up is it's not a completely natural lemon mint flavor this is a bias i have so if you do like that kind of a i guess we'll say lemon pledge again mixed with a really nice natural lemon mint you could bump this up to a six maybe although because El Fokker isn't the highest performing tobacco ever it usually doesn't bump into sixes and sevens and that's we're talking about like double apple or just their mint flavor which are two like killers in the industry um and obviously other reasons it's not going to go above that is because El Fokker performs like El Fokker, there's nothing outstanding. This doesn't do what Double Apple does, which is just last for two hours because of how potent the flavor profile is. And there are things to be said about that chemical flavor that you get on the inhale. Um, I enjoy it. I feel like most people probably won't. And as far as like judging it based on what a whole community likes, the feedback I've gotten from even most people is they don't like that type of a flavor profile. So it's gotta be a five out of seven. That should just about wrap up this review on El Fokker's Lemon Mint. Real quick plug, go over to the THL channel and subscribe to them. In a couple days, I have a review coming out on that channel first. It will be released on this channel a week later. It is the kickoff to the Starbuzz series. I'm not gonna tell you what the flavor is. You gotta go over there to check it out, but we're gonna be reviewing a Starbuzz flavor and it's gonna be a series on this channel just like the El Fokker series is. Now I'm releasing it on TGL's channel first because I'm gonna help those guys out. They wanna get some subs going, they wanna get some reviewers on. And if you're watching this and you're a reviewer, contact me. They're looking to get a conglomerate of reviewers together to do reviews over on that channel and I really like what they're doing. Most of these Facebook groups are really awesome and the Hookah Lounge is no exception. That should just about cover it. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, happy smoking.